episode of Crazy Dad's Garage. We're going to be moving forward on the, working on the rat rod body some more. Um, yeah, warm weather's back, and uh, I'm a bit of a sissy when it comes to uh, the cold, and so we haven't gotten a lot done over the winter. Plus, my shop's really not set up for it. But uh, warm weather's back, longer days, so it gives me some time to start playing around with this thing. So let's jump into this right now, and I'll show you the things that we're going to be doing. We got the cowl rebuilt on the last uh, episode here. Got the body straightened out and tied together uh, with all that green tubing up in there. So what we're going to start doing today is uh, working on that inner framework. I want to get this thing to where it is stiff enough that I can move it around as a unit. Right now it's still all floppy and everything. So first thing that we've done here, I'm going to get the uh, floor rails uh, squared up and tied together uh, to start with so I have uh, Pulled a tape measure from the front corner over there down to the back corner right here and got a diagonal measurement um, both directions and that measurement is now equal and uh, I've got the thing I've had it clamped down with those uh, vice grips right there now I've got a C clamp up at the front another C clamp back here at the back holding it all together so now I've got the floor rails squared up together and what we're going to do now is uh, tie those corners together. So I'm going to build me a little angle brace across there. I'm not going to try to match the curvature out there. Uh, it's more metal work than I want to mess with right now on this project because of the nature of it. So we're going to just build an angled piece that goes from one section over to the other section and get that welded in place and that will stiffen that up as you can see right now with all of this tied together it's actually already very sturdy um, so when i get uh, you know the clamps replaced with some uh, you know the metal framework in here then we'll uh, we'll actually have the thing quite stiff so we're going to do that first um, not totally sure what I'm going to do across the front because it got to allow for the transmission uh, tunnel to be in there. So I don't know. For now, I may just tack weld myself a bar across the front up there from side to side. That might be my plan. But I want to. I want to get the back tied together. I need to get the front tied together. Um, and then we're going to run a vertical bar up front and back of each of the doors. We'll do something about getting a dash bar in, and uh, and I'll tie the top corners together, which I'm not sure what approach I'm going to take on those because they're more visible than the bottom corners. I may actually try to make myself some kind of curved metal uh, to go in there, but not sure about that yet. So let's launch into getting ourselves those lower corner brackets built. And uh, we'll come back as we get something there. All right, got our pieces prepped and ready to go in there. Everything's cut and trimmed up the way it's supposed to be. And these are going to sit in there about like that. And that should tie that together good and stiffen us up there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll weld them on in and then we'll be back. Yo. Got those uh, corners welded in place there. And it's uh, stiffening it up pretty significantly just doing that. So, let's see if I can get around here and show you a view from the front of it. It's, uh, if you look down there, you can see that uh, that back cross piece was not exactly level with the pieces going above the wheel wells but it looks like it's pretty well equal on both sides so i'm happy with that we will live with it and uh, move forward so all right i'm not sure what i'm going to do next i'm going to go decide make that decision and we'll be back okay here's the next part of the project we're going to put some uprights in right in front of the door opening there got these things uh bent and cut to the right size and uh, we'll set them in there like that so that we can 
weld them to our framework on the bottom and then we'll weld them along here to get the cowl tied to it. I've got these notched out here, got a little notch in that opening, so that this is going to sit right underneath where this bar is going to come across there and go sit on top of that. So that will tie all of this together right here once I get that in place. And that will give us some strength in the cowl. It will stiffen up everything to the back there. And it will allow me at that point, and keep from shining the sunlight in your eyes, to, to square these corners up here with the whole rest of the thing and get them tied together, which will probably be the next project. So I'm going to go get those things uh, welded in place. That'll have my cowl stabilized. It'll have everything looking right there. And uh, then I believe we're going to build the little short brackets to go up um, and extend through the doorway and sit on top of those. I think that's going to be the next thing. All right, got those uprights in place. Got them uh, welded to the cowl right there so they're all tied together. Now that's going to allow us to start working on putting this piece and extending it into there. So what I've done is... Uh, built myself some extensions here and because I don't just want a butt weld right here I've put a sleeve inside of there and uh, I do that a lot when I'm joining some pieces of tubing just to give it extra strength but uh, that's going to allow me to put that in there I'll get my Self lined up and clamped here so we're straight and uh, then I'll be able to come back in here and weld it to that upright uh, when I'm ready to do that and I'm also notched right here right next to the body so I can tack this into the body too or it won't move there and uh, that will get me to the point then where I can uh, flip around there to the back corners so that's where we're gonna go now I'm gonna get these uh, Extensions welded in. I'm not going to weld them to here yet because I want to just clamp that so that I can move the back of the body around in order to get it squared up. But that's going to be my next step then. Get these extensions welded in and we'll be back at that point. All right, we've got those extensions welded in now and uh, I took myself a measurement from the point of that metal up there back here to this point and uh, on both sides we are within a sixteenth of an inch of being right on square there just as it sits so I'm gonna weld her up and you know weld a solid here both to the cowl and to the support and then we'll be on to the next step okay got a little bit ahead of myself there uh, been a day or two since I've worked on this but uh, came out here and got these corner braces uh, cut and welded in so that's got me tied together here and now this whole thing is super solid right there uh, so I'm happy with the way that's working out I did come over here and do a little bit of work on this corner I had to get it straightened up I'm gonna still pull that together and probably tack weld that together up there to get that taken care of so the next item of business I want to put another vertical bar right behind that door opening. Uh, it will match up with that. I'll try to get a similar curvature on it. And uh, we'll weld it top and bottom and uh, get the edges of the body welded to it like I did here. And that will steady us up there and get our curvature right so we get rid of this flopping that goes on. And, uh, oh yeah, don't look at that. That's coming up later. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, get those bars cut, get the curvature pounded into them, and we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We have those uh, pieces cut now, um, ready to uh, put in place here. Just remember, I got to do one other thing here on this side too. You can see right here. I've got to get this edge rolled back out there so that I don't have anything holding me over this way. I had some significant 
dents, I guess you'd call them in there. So I've got that one pulled out kind of where it needs to be, but I'll get these pulled out. That'll let me hold right up tight to this inside edge there. And I'll get myself clamped in place and welded and that will allow me to then go down here and tack weld that edge onto that bar, which will really help out. Oh yeah, got these all prepped for welding, but I just realized I need to come down here and grind the paint off down here so I can weld this edge to it here. So I'll get those things done, get them welded in place and come back and show you the end result. Okay, they are in and welded in place. Got them tacked all the way up and down there to the sheet metal and then welded in solid. Yeah, too much backlight, sorry. Welded in solid to the framework there and up here. So that'll have us stabilized. Now this thing is super steady, super sturdy. Nothing's moving apart on it or anything, although I'm sure you could up at the front get something and, and move the front in and out because it's only the sheet metal and the firewall stiff in it there. But it's very sturdy, ready to finish the building process now. Um, got some ideas on what I'm going to do on the doors, uh, but I've got to find the metal to do it with. So I'm not going to carry on any farther there right now. Um, the next project I've got here, I have a dashboard out of a 50, let's say a 1950 Chevy pickup. And it's been, it's got a lot of bullet holes in it and stuff like that. But uh, it was there and I've always liked the look of them. And uh, I think it actually fits in here fairly good. Um, have to narrow it and do that, but uh, that's going to be my next project. Plus, I don't know what I did with it. I must have taken it back outside. I also cut the windshield frame off of that. And so what I'm going to do is set that windshield frame on here. It's a V-shaped windshield frame, and I'll chop it so that's quite a bit lower. And uh, have it sitting on here built into the cowl. And so that's going to be the project on the next video. But as of right now... I've got this to where it's uh, one solid piece of metal, all the major rust repaired that I want. Yeah, there's still a little bit of body work that's got to be done on it, but uh, I'm not going to bore you to death with that kind of stuff. So we're going to sign off on this video. This is uh, Eldon coming here from Crazy Dad's Garage. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this stuff at all, please uh, like and subscribe to it and uh, you know, even send it on to some of your other friends that you think might enjoy it. I'm having fun doing it. I uh, hope everybody that's watching is learning something and getting something out of it. I, granted, I am not the best videographer, but uh, I'm trying to show you what I'm doing and maybe teach you a couple things in the process. So anyway, everybody have a fun day. Uh, we'll be back uh, with the next video in this series before too long.